it was about two years ago that I discovered a relationship or a link, how do you call it, connection between the bees and myself. Mm. Um, because of the bees are um, transforming their collected nectar into honey. And I thought that alchemy, I've, um, I've done all my life by transforming the heavy metals into gold. Or you can also say the knowledge guarded by walking your path, mm. by life experiences, into wisdom. So your honey is then your wisdom. Yeah. So that is how the relationship uh, became clear to me. And then um, my uh, frame drum teacher in the Netherlands, she organized a weekend about bees and I was there. And shortly after I found on Facebook the College of the Melisse and that's an um, online education for two years. And they, um, well, it's an ed education from scientific and to spiritual. So it's very broad and that's what speaks to me. Yeah. And of course, you have the practical side. <laughs> yeah. And um, well, and Jan is supporting me in the in the in that practical side. And we found also a mentor in the Netherlands who will support us on that path. And that's why we're here today on Malta to join Deborah's workshop. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Beautifully described. And yes. Yeah. Um, would you like to uh, throw in there a little bit about the practical side of things, or whatever you feel comes up for you from what Tina shared? Um, yeah, Tina was of course uh, interested in it, and uh, I'm also interested. But I'm interested in so many things. <laughs> when it's uh, special, when it is technical, or there's something uh, I am interested as uh, well. And uh, I saw that the, the practical side of the beekeeping to make a hive and replace it and uh, how to do it and that was the practical practical thing for me and uh, yeah we can uh, I can touch it to, to uh, the knowledge she said uh, the theory uh, from the, the Melissa and the theory yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so you're, t you're, uh, <coughs> you're a beautiful uh, team yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> you, you well, complement each other yeah, with, yeah. with, with yeah. both parts yeah. and going into this issue when you when you go into it then you discover more and more of course um, what's going on on this planet with the bees yes. so and then you're even more inspired yeah. to serve the bees and saving them and yeah. saving ourselves and you, and you want to just yeah just take a little bit deep on that because i know that yeah. uh, uh, for so many this is still uh, unfamiliar knowledge isn't yeah. it, about the bees and we take yes. for granted so yeah, yeah i'd love to just yeah, let's share some of that for the world to hear around that uh, the, the awareness of the bees please yeah, I was very pretty amazed. I met some uh, high educated people and I started talking about bees and how important they are for, for our food. For China. And they, they didn't have a clue. Mm. And that was that was shocking. Well <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it yeah. made me aware of how important it is to um, to talk about it. Yeah with people yeah. to get to to spread the information yeah. mm. because they yeah. really don't know yeah yeah completely oblivious to something that is yeah. so powerfully impactful on, that, on our uh, continuation as a species yeah, yeah right yeah. and and so um and i just love you know, i'm inspired the fact that not you know the fact that you're both blind and you have these wonderful dogs that are also supporting you yeah, yeah. today you had the bravery of going into the bees and and, and, and being with them, you know, close. And I, I caught a little bit of you sharing when we was up there together, yeah, which was yeah. magical. Um, yeah, just yeah, just share a little bit for the people around that, you know, just because most people would even just think instantly the fact that they're blind, they can't even do this. But this mm -hmm. bravery that, and courage that you two are showing is, is phenomenal. Can yeah, well, any words on that? well, people yeah. are also asking fun. Uh, you're going to learn to uh, f about beekeeping. How how are you going to do that? And then I said, I don't know. I will learn. <laughs> we, will see. we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. Yeah. We shall see. I don't know. I, I will love that. I go on a discovery, <laughs> and that's uh, that's what it is. So yeah. today we went up to the hives, and um, well, we had a shoot. A bee shoot on, so <laughs> I was fortunate with that. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it was something you both, you both. As soon as I spoke to you as well, you know, it's something you really both noticed. Something, didn't you? This, you both instantly mentioned yeah. just the, the sound yeah. of that. The, the, yes. the sound of the bees. Yes, yeah, uh, very nice to hear the, the, the humming of the bees and um, the, the the difference between the moment we stepped there and he opened the the, the hive, and later on 
uh, the sound was the pitch was higher mm. and uh, it was more they were more busy so it's different and we have to learn that different sounds is important for us yeah yeah powerful yeah yeah and you said you, you mentioned something didn't you about how you had that deeper connection as well with yeah. the cats before as well yeah, you had yeah. this like do you want to just share a little bit about that just that yeah. the oh yes because because uh, beekeepers are, uh, are taught of course to approach the bees in a very subtle way to to be very careful and fully aware of them when you when you go into the hive that you don't disturb them too much and all that and approach them with respect and then we said yeah we have bred cats and when we have kittens in the house when we approach them we slowly 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 approach them and are um, touching them in a very subtle yeah. way but um, so-called sighted people <laughs> yeah. um, when they see they something for them, instance a kitten them. they grab it yeah. yeah they grab it yeah and and that's more shocking for for an animal so it's also the same attitude we should have towards the bees mm. yeah yeah, well, that. yeah. Well, yeah you, you with, say with respect yeah yeah, yeah. just a deeper a, di a different respect isn't it yeah, yeah. more awareness mm. yeah awareness yeah, yeah. yeah. another way yeah and sensitivity yeah, yeah because yeah. you can be so enthusiastic and and everybody can understand it and you run to it and well how nice and rude but then the bees will be shocked yeah <laughs> yeah like i run away from free today I yeah. told you that tonight. and barbara deborah sorry was like yeah whatever you do just stand still i was like no i can't <laughs> i'm running and I, I run all the way down to the bottom of the road and it chased me all the way yeah i wish i stood still <laughs> but i also have to train trust but i'm also i'm still a, a, a scary but and even with the bees shoot on, it's very strange when they come to you. You hear them zzz zzz around you, and they bump into your veil. And they, Whoop! <laughs> but they can't touch you. Because you have to really train trust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a that's a key point as well. Yeah. Isn't it? Trust. Yeah. Trust. Yeah. 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 Just a deeper level of trust. Yeah. Um, well, it's a challenge. I I wrote on our bee page. We have a bee page on on Facebook, Bee Home, and I write. I, it was a sub. Well, you have a description. And the subline says, uh, "Blind beekeeping, just a matter of having faith." <laughs> it's yeah. an assignment to myself. Yeah, it's true though. <laughs> so it, it, and I don't even know. You know, have you? Uh, do you know if there's any other blind beekeepers out there that are, are in the in the world? Uh, yes, we there saw are. a video on YouTube. Yeah. But there's a commercial beekeeper. Yeah, and but it's he, funny to see it. Yeah, and uh, all the time he have something behind or beside him, uh, so sided. On person who helps him okay so he has yeah. a sighted person that's there supporting that yeah as well. but yeah, we okay. like to do it the you host alone yeah, yeah, you, you can find so, it so on supporting. youtube okay yeah lovely um What's so it? yeah so so base okay so just that you know you're on camera and you know one of the things i do is send this out to like you beautifully described at the beginning tina to spread more awareness so is mm -hmm. there anything you'd like to say in closing just on this on this video before you go back in for your the finish the workshop today mm -hmm. is there anything you'd like to share to the people out there who yeah anything you want to share to the world anything you like anything to you share want to share to, to the, the world, world. Yeah. oh wow that <laughs> that's a big question yeah <laughs> um that's bewust worden van the bij en de gifen en zo ja zo zo to really be to really uh, develop more awareness around, for instance, bees, and how we how we live them, uh, live with them, because of all the uh, pesticides yes. and so on, it kills the bees and it will kill us in the end because we have to eat that food, and um, well, I wouldn't fight. I would love to invite people to become more aware of the cycle we are living in. Mm -hmm. It's not a linear thing we live in, it's a cycle and that we are all involved. We are all on having our own place in it. And it's all important mm -hmm. and to become more aware of that. Wonderful. Yeah. Beautiful message. <laughs> What a beautiful team. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that I was in Malta to have this opportunity to capture this uh, this interview to send out to the world. Okay. So thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for saying this. <laughs> and have a, have a magical uh, 
afternoon finishing the workshop. Oh, yeah. okay. thank you. And a magical week. A magical after. week after, yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah you've yeah. got sunsets, temples, you've got yeah. it all going on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah. superstars in Malta. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you, you, you know, you're being here. Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Right, right, I like yeah. it. Okay, and thank no. you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.